Mississippi's state auditor is pushing to cut taxpayer funding from certain college majors he claims are, quote, useless and indoctrinating students. State auditor Shad White posting on X, uh, degrees in garbage fields are terrible for students. Kids graduate with debt they can't repay. It's the reason U.S. student debt has doubled in the last 20 years. Degrees in garbage fields are also bad for the economy. They produce graduates who offer no real skills. His comments coming after a new report found the most valuable majors to the Mississippi economy are nursing and health care programs. We'll always need nurses, education, engineering, business. Less valuable to the state of Mississippi, anthropology, sociology, women's studies, and literature, among others. And, and, and again, valuing those degrees in terms of who's working them, how much you're getting paid to work in these fields in the state of Mississippi. Let's bring in Niall Standage, White House columnist for The Hill. Uh, Niall, this was an, a, a story. Shad White is a very young man. I mean, if you, you, you Google him, he's not that far removed. I would say he's a millennial. Uh, I can't verify it right now. I didn't have time. But, but in terms of the auditor actually looking at the dollar signs here, that these majors, that may be... Uh, aspirational, that may allow you to be more emotionally and ethically um, intelligent, don't necessarily pay very well, and then you can't pay off your college debt. Does he have a point? In that respect, I suppose he does have a point. Now, what I would say as a counter argument is the people who choose to study those fields, sociology or gender studies or African-American studies, know that those do not necessarily provide a lucrative career in the way that a business qualification does or, or going to law school does. So it depends what you value. In purely dollar and cent signs, yes, he does have a point. But education is supposed to be broader, I think, than just uh, trying to figure out how to make the most money. So in terms of how his tweets are being received, what kind of response is he getting in his home state? And obviously there are people outside of Mississippi who I'm sure have a very vocal uh, re rebuke. Yeah, I'm glad you asked that because it's one of these rare instances where X or Twitter is actually interesting in the responses we see from people in his state. Some of the criticisms that we're seeing are, for example, that it's simply not the government's job to direct people what they should study, particularly at the college level. Another example of the criticism is this idea that uh, Mississippi is not holding on to enough engineers, for example. And people say, well, the solution to that is creating more good paying jobs in Mississippi. It's not pushing people who don't really want to be engineers into doing engineering degrees, which seems to have all sorts of likely negative repercussions. I, I looked him up on his actual about page. Uh, he's a young man who grew up in a blue collar family. His parents, uh, his father and grandfather, uh, two generations of oil field pumpers. Uh, his father served as mayor of their small town. He married a woman whose family immigrated uh, from India. Uh, so uh, no doubt he has a unique and diverse uh, story to tell. Uh, though for a lot of people, including in the state of Mississippi, but also in the state of Florida, these contentions over what is taught in school have become highly politicized. What do you think is attributing to this shift uh, where it's adding to just a, a conversation that's more of a culture war, uh, so to speak? What, what's happening in our society? The culture war is really central to this. And I think that in, when it comes to education, one of the central questions is how do people view America and how do people view patriotism? And among, I would say, broadly speaking, conservatives, they believe that that is remembering what is right about America, what is admirable about America, and they see some in academia as being overly critical. Now, among liberals, there's a sense that patriotism actually includes and it is integral to patriotism to question one's country, to see how it could be improved, to reckon with moments in the past when it did not live up to its principles. That basic division, I think, is fueling a lot of these debates around education and wokeness and equity and all of these kind of topics. I know we're out of time. I hear my producer page in my ear. I, with all due respect, I have one more question to ask because I think for a lot of people, if he wouldn't have insulted the degrees, if you would have taken away the garbage term and the useless term, there are folks on every side of the aisle who want to empower working class America with the tools they need going to a trade school, quite uh, likely, uh, to just getting the kind of education where they can make some money. I mean, this argument, it's, it's really quite practical. 
Absolutely, I agree 1000%. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.